What's up Simonix, welcome to day six of the Ionic holiday calendar. And today I got a special quick win tutorial type of video for you because recently I discovered the ion nav component and I couldn't figure out the usage in the beginning, but then I did. And so I wanted to share it with you because when you get a modal, um, you can't really navigate in there because the model lives above your app and is excluded from the regular app routing. But you can still use this custom navigation inside to navigate to different pages and I will show you how. So I created a blank app, I added two pages, the account page will be basically our modal overlay and the settings page will be a page that is pushed onto or inside of the account page. And for this we need to create a little component that we call a modal base and also a shared components module to export the um, component. So in the components, shared components module, you can first of all go ahead and export the uh, modal base. Where is my code completion today? Modal base component, there we go. And also we need to declare it. And since we're using some Ionic stuff in the component, we also need to include the Ionic module in here. All right. As I said, we want to present the account page inside our homepage. So let's go to the homepage now and let's close this one. And in here we need an alert. Uh, no, we actually need a modal. So I got this nice little snippet. So let's go ahead and add the modal controller. And then we don't need, or maybe we need component properties and we want to display the account page. And in order to display an account page right here in the model, we also need to declare it in our app module inside the imports. So uh, account page module. All right, now we can maybe present already the account page if we would have a button. So let me just quickly bring in a button to show our model or actually the function is now called present modal. So uh, the m m biggest problem here is really importing, exporting, declaring the right things in the right places. So right now we got the account and in here we now want to navigate to a step or the next page, which would be the settings page. In order to do so, we are now using our modal uh, base component. And in the modal base component, we define the Oops, the ion nav. So this basically creates a new navigation in here and we have to set a root page for this as well. But the root page in here will actually be just of the type any because we are setting this page from our actual home page. So if we now go back to the home page, we will not present the account page anymore, but the modal base component. And as component properties, we specify the root page. So this will override the variable in the modal base component with account page. So when we now save this and go ahead, we will get all kinds of errors because um, first of all, uh, no blah blah modal base component, did you add it to entry components? Of course we didn't. So let's go ahead, entry components and the modal modal base component. We can simply import the component in here and declare it. We also need to add the module because it's not part of any module or it hasn't been imported. So the shared components module goes here. Now we got the module and we got the shared thing. And once we now click on it, modal base component is not part of any whatever, um, I think it is. Uh, let's quickly take a look at our shared components once again. As I said, I get really confused with this stuff as well. And sometimes Ionic is not picking up the changes that makes everything even a bit harder. Yeah, well, as I said, a simple reload works wonders and now it works again. It is looking the same like before, but if you look closer at it, you see that we're presenting the modal base component and this one loads the account page. So now we have our own navigation stick in here and now we're able to actually push a new page from our account page. So 
um, let me bring in the code because there are actually components to do this. So if you go here and put in the ion nef link, which is actually the syntax for Ionic 4. Uh, if Ionic 5 is out at this time, uh, you can also check out the documentations. I think they simply changed it to be ion link or ion router link or something like this. But in general, it still works the same. We can supply now a router direction and a component. So this a bit like uh, old Ionic 3, we define the settings page to be the settings page. If we are using a page or component in here, like we do it in here, we always also need to, uh, come on, bad example. Uh, we always have to include the module as well. So let's try to see the error. Yeah. Why should you, yeah, there we go. So settings page, did you add it to entry components or whatever? No, of course we didn't. So go to the account module, go to the entry components and define the settings page. And because you can't simply define a page in here and not import its module, we go ahead with the settings page module as well. And now we should be able to open our model and go to the settings page right in here. And although this really looks like something we do all the time, it isn't because we now have our own navigation that is not tied to any routing. And so if you want to complete the picture and go back from here, you could do the same with a router direction of root or route or whatever, then define it once again as uh, account page, save this, save everything. And then you're able to navigate in here to the settings and back to here, close the model. The URL stays the same the whole time. So that was our quick wing on the custom Ion Nav of day six, I think, of the Ionic holiday calendar. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and share this calendar with your friends. And I will catch you tomorrow for an exciting new day.